calling Elvis. One thing I want you guys, this is a, um, a golden rule. This is Tim Young's golden rule of adjusting. When you're adjusting a patient, never, ever, ever, ever speak. Words do not come out of your mouth. If you're talking, you're not focused. And I look at an adjustment just as important, just as vital as if a surgeon was making an incision in, into your baby's uh, skull to do brain surgery, would you want him making a cut and looking at his nurse and going, so what'd you guys do this weekend? <laughs> Wouldn't it upset you? Yeah. yeah, it would because, it, are you kidding me? Pay attention. That's how I look at this. And that's how you guys will look at this too, okay? Does that make sense? So let's get his second cervical adjusted. Second cervical. <laughs> How, how cool was that, huh? Okay, so here's, here's well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back off and deconstruct this, and it's taken me a long time because I've done this so long. The first thing is what, what Tim was talking about is how you set up, then you set it. I do everything in one fluid motion. It's one fluid motion. So as I'm making my adjustment, I'm taking the joint play out along the way, okay? I'm taking the joint play out along the way, but then when I hit, when I hit the end of the joint play, I'm not going to sit there and... and Wait for an invitation. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to move it. Now, you've seen how fast my hand comes off. And what's really cool, if somebody has a, a, an iPhone, and I didn't even realize I did this sometimes, the, uh, the students that I worked with one time, they did it, the slow-mo. If you got slow-mo on your video, it's actually really cool to watch. Um, I'm going to show you guys, when I'm going to work on this next two hours, we're going to work on cervicals. We're going to really get in the middle of this. And then after the break, and then Tim is going to work on upper thoracics. And I'll work a little bit on thoracic, but then we'll get into lumbar, sacrum, hips. And then if you guys want extremities, we'll finish with extremities too, because I do a ton of extremities. But cervicals. So we're going to back off and deconstruct this. The first thing is you find it. Once you figure out what bone it is, it, and, I, and, and this is hard because I'm so used to talking with students. So I don't, don't no one get offended or, or take offense to me, like talking to you like a student, because it's just out of habit. I know you all are doctors. But I will tell you the, the most important thing that you could possibly do is, is learn and understand and be able to visualize the, the bone and the facet line. Because what we're doing is we're adjusting through the facet, correct? Yeah. That's, that's where we're adjusting, okay? And so on the second cervical, if you look at the second cervical facet and how it sits with the atlas, you've got to, so I had to come down underneath and move through that facet. And that's why there was, I mean, my right hand didn't move. It was all left hand. Didn't hurt at all, did it? His head really didn't move that much, but you guys heard that, that the key is, did I want anything else to move? Just the second cervical facet on the left, that's it. If anything else moved, that's called a what? Manipulation, Manipulation. exactly. If, I, if, I, if he's my patient in my office, I've already taken an x-ray, I've already decided what his subluxation is, because I've done a consultation, you know, we've already done an exam, you already kind of know, he's, got, he's having migraines, his neck hurts on the left-hand side. When you look at an x-ray, well, well, there it is, right? So, but we don't have x-rays here, so I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to rely on my years of palpation. So that's what I found. But I also, as soon as I come under fifth cervical, I found that also, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk through this, and then I'm going to take just a minute, and I'm, I'm trying not to do a whole lot of talking because I'm going to get hands-on, um, and I'm going to do it a little different with you guys because we have so many. Um, I'll explain what it is, what I, what I visualize, and why I do the way I do so it makes sense, and then we'll get into adjusting. Fifth cervical, so okay, the fifth cervical, if you think about the fifth cervical, and, I, and, and, and you guys that take x-rays, I want you to start paying attention to your lateral cervicals. Look at your lateral cervicals and look at the number one most degenerated anterior part of the bone. Which bone is it? C5. It's always C5. You ever ask yourself why? And I'll explain why here in just a second. But So I always look at fifth cervical, and the fifth cervical, you have to, and you have to pay attention to the facet. Also. Um, the lateral process, the lateral process of the, of the vertebra, look how tiny it is. When I adjust, I use my fingertips. I use my fingertips and, and I, will, I will use like on, 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 like on his, his there, I basically use the tip of this finger and, and I support it with this one. And then um, like on the, what I'm going to do next on the fifth cervical, I'm going to take, so if this is the lateral process of the fifth cervical, I'm putting it right in there. I've got to start bringing a spine. I just didn't want to fly across the country with it and everybody's like, what kind of freak are you? So um, we're going to put it there. So if you picture how tiny, how tiny is the, the fifth cervical lateral part? Because that's what you're adjusting. That's the lever that you're using. So I know a lot of people use their whole hand and they use all the, and, 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 and in certain, in, like on T1, in certain situations, if you're very specific with it, that's okay. But I want, 
I want just that just that bone to move. So if in order for just that bone to move, and as tiny as it is, and where it's at, you have to be tiny. You have to be specific with it. Does that make sense? At any given time, there's something you're like, hang on, that didn't, I didn't get what you said. Stop me. This is your class. I do this all the time. So you guys stop me, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here in the fifth cervical. Now, the thing about the fifth cervical is if you look at the, the, the way, the, the, way this, the cervical curve is, it sets up underneath. So when I palpate, I'm going to come, I'm going to come down underneath to, the, to uh, the, the prominence, which is which bone? C7. Right underneath of it. So if this is, so if here, here's the bone, and I'm, and I'm palpating, I'm coming right underneath the C6, and then right behind C6, hidden up in there at C5. And then I'm going to come in right off the side of it. Okay, that's how we're going to find it. It's very, very gentle. Now, I'm going to get down here so I can show you guys. So we're turning it. I'm coming under here. I'm palpating. C7. 6 is right there. And then 5. So there it is. And then my fingers are coming right underneath there. And I'm putting the, I'm putting the transverse process right in those, those three fingers. That's what I'm going to use for my adjustment. Okay? Does that make sense? So I'm going to get over here, and I'll stay down here. That's okay. You're fine. So I'm going, as I, as I make my contact, you find your contact. And see, if I was to do this, yeah, see, and I'm not pushing very hard, but you know that's where it's at, right? Yeah, yeah. So once you find it, and you come underneath, okay, now, I'm taking the head. I'm not twisting with my left hand. All I'm doing is taking the tension out. See, it moved a little bit already right there, didn't it? That ain't all of it, I promise you. And, that, so <laughs> since, and so since we're talking about this, there is a difference between cavitation and an adjustment, okay? Just because that bone made a noise does not mean you adjusted it. I get, who here, does anyone here do scans? Okay, B before and after? Okay, you've probably been taught that. Okay, I got, I got some of the people, and I don't have anything wrong, I don't have anything against it, but I had somebody once uh, uh, really, really give me a hard time because I didn't do a post scan. I, I didn't scan them afterwards, I just started laughing. If I ever adjust you, you're going to know that the bone moved. You don't need to scan it. Yeah, I don't need to check it. So I'm going to come underneath. Okay. Now, with a C5, my line, of, my line of drive is almost up, right, because we're going through the facet. So this hand's not going to move, but I'm going to come underneath. And when my hand moves, it's go I'm going through. So if I do it slow, see that? But if I do it all at one time, then you don't, you don't have to worry about hurting them. Now, Again, I want you guys to understand something. This is me doing this a long, long time and really working on being a master at this. I, 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 don't, I don't make an adjustment just to make a noise on someone's neck and, and get them out the door and get paid for it. I want it to be the best adjustment I've ever delivered and the best adjustment they've ever received. That's just me. Uh, and so you guys aren't going to be able to do this today or tomorrow. But it will give you the tools to where you can start down that, down that road, okay? So we're going to come underneath and we're going to set it right there. It's easy. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just so easy. I'm telling you. Okay, so go ahead and sit up. Okay, so um, um, you're gonna sit up for just a second, and we're gonna, and then, and then we're gonna have um, everybody have a seat for real quick, um, and then we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, I'll, I'll bring you guys back up here in a second. Uh, you all went to different schools. You can tell where I'm from, huh? Y'all. <laughs> um, we, ever, we all went to different schools. We all learned different uh, philosophies. We all learned different uh, descriptions or, of, of what chiropractic is and what it's not. We have all this knowledge. We've taken philosophy seminars. And I can do, me and Tim can talk all day long about philosophy. Here's the thing. That's just for you guys. Your patients don't give a damn. I'm, here, here, here's the, the four most important things in a practice. This right here, if you guys will get this concept, is going to double your practice. Okay? You ready? This is what your patients want to know. What's my problem? Can you help me? How long is it going to take? And what's the last one? What's it going to cost? That's all they care. They don't give a damn about innate intelligence. They don't care about physiology. They don't care about nutrition. I promise you, if your patients come in and they need to lose weight, do you think they don't know they need to lose weight? They, they come to you for, to ask you a question about what they don't know. Now, would losing weight help them? Yes. Is that your job? No. What is your job? Right there. Right there. So here's the thing. I'm going to give you, and this is why I adjust this way. This is what I think about. This is my, this is my whole premise behind what I do. And this is why the practice grows after 20 years. It continues to grow. 
Let me, so let's think about this stuff. And I know this is basic and silly, but I think this will help you as we're, as we're going through these next techniques and as you're adjusting, okay? So everybody here, has anyone here ever sprained your ankle, rolled your ankle? Almost everybody, right? What did it immediately do? What does that mean? It, you know, what, what's the body trying to do? It's trying to splint, right? That swelling is like a, it's like a, a, um, a nat, an anatomical cast, right? It doesn't want it to move because if it continues to move, it's going to do more damage, right? When you injure the spine, does that not seem like it's the, the, the exact same thing happens? It's a joint like the ankle. You sprain a finger or a thumb or anything, what does it do? It swells and it splints. So your spine will do the exact same thing, won't it? Okay, so when, it, when the spine has a lack of motion in it, okay, it's not moving appropriately. The problem is we have 24 vertebrae that move 14 different directions, right? So we're still going to bend over and pick up off the floor. We're going to turn in traffic. We're going to get on our stupid phones, you know? So what happens is you have an injured joint, but the rest of the spine is working anyway, so we're going to keep compression on that joint for a long period of time, and then it's going to cause it to lock down, and we call that a what? A subluxation. Say it to a patient. You ever said subluxation to a patient? And they go home and say, uh, um, you know, my doctor said that uh, I have a submarine in my neck. <laughs> you know, that's, you know, um, you guys, uh, so anybody here listen to old Sigafoo CDs and tapes? You everybody know who Sigafoo is? That's where, you know, he used to say that all the time. Patients don't know what the hell subluxation say. They can't even say it. They, that, that lack of joint motion, so we have a lack of joint motion, right? And that lack of joint motion over a long period of time causing stress on the nerve, causing stress on the disc, stress on the joint is going to cause a symptom. Then here they come. It's physiology. It makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Right? So you can explain this to a patient this way, but I always look at it this way too. So anyone here ever broke their arm? Ever broke, broke an arm? Okay. So when someone breaks an arm and you put it in a cast, you leave that cast on there for let's say eight weeks. When you take the cast off, what happens to the arm? It atrophies, doesn't it? It, it gets smaller, it gets weak, the joint gets stiff, because why? There's a lack of what? Motion. It's physiology. So it doesn't matter if it's the arm or the spine, right? So we have a lack of motion causes problems. I'm not very smart. I, I, I'm, from, I'm from the hills of Missouri. I'm a hillbilly. We ain't real bright. We just, we just, we get, we just figure things out the big picture. You know, I'm not going to give you the whole paraphysiology on why that happens. I know there's the Huntington law and there's all these laws and others. Who cares? If you put a cast on an arm and it doesn't move, it atrophies, it gets weak, and it gets small. What happens when you start using it again? Does it come back? Yes. Can that be argued in any classroom anywhere? No, because it's common damn sense, isn't it? Chiropractic, the reason chiropractors fail and the reason people have a hard time with chiropractic is because it's too easy. It makes too much damn sense. It's common sense. So in my world, the way I look at it is, if, if, the, if you have an injured joint, could you imagine if that you left, uh, left a cast on someone's arm for 15 years? I mean, think about your patients coming in with a fifth lumbar that they, they, they hurt picking up something off the ground. They, you know, they lifted a trailer or something like that, and they felt that in their lower back 15 years ago. And, and they went to their doctor and got, what, you know, drugs or whatever. 15 years later, they come drag in your office, and you, and you take an x-ray and go, well, okay, you know, yeah, you've had this 15 years. What would now, so you tell the patient, look, instead of going through all this big, long explanation, what's your name? Hmm? Megan. Megan. Miguel, I have to find the hardest name in the whole room, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so Miguel comes to me. He comes into my office, and we do the x-rays, and we do the exam, and all, and I say, Miguel, come back tomorrow. So when Miguel comes back tomorrow, I'm going to put an x-ray up and go, Miguel, okay, your lower back has been hurting for 15 years, and here's why. Right here in your lower back, you've injured this joint. This joint's not moving. There's a lack of motion, and that, because of that lack of motion, every time you bend over and pick something up, you're causing stress on that joint. So over a long period of time, now you're stressing the nerve. That's why you're here. Does that make sense, Miguel? So Miguel, what I have to do is I have to restore proper motion back in this joint. When I do that, the proper alignment comes back. We take the stress off the nerve, the stress off the disc. That's where health comes from. That's when you're going to start improving. Does that make sense? Okay, do you have any questions about that? How, how, how hard was that? That's my report of findings. 
So Miguel, what I'm going to need you to do is I need um, what I'm going to need you to do is I'm um, it's going to take us about eight weeks for the initial course of plant uh, course of treatment. Okay, if you just go to the dentist and you had crooked teeth, would they take a pair of pliers and just jerk them back in place? No. What they do is they put teeth uh, braces on your teeth. And they make tiny adjustments, right? And then the tooth moves and then it heals. Well, we're going to make tiny adjustments in your spine. We're going to allow motion. We're going to allow healing. Okay. Uh, there's seven days in a week. Out of those seven days, I need you here three of them. Okay, three days a week for the next eight weeks, and I'll reevaluate. Any questions, Miguel? Let's get started. That's my report of findings. How long did that take? Now, I do initial eight week, three times a week, because I'm only there Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I've been working three days a week for years now. And when I left, before I came here, the week that I left, I, we saw 517 patients in, three, in 18 hours. And, 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 and the fun thing about it is, Miguel has no more questions. Because I answered his question, all, all, I answered three of them, right? Miguel, yes, I can help you. You have, a, you have a fifth lumbar, you know, fifth lumbar. He doesn't even give a damn which bone it is. It's right there. You just point to it. Fifth lumbar that's not moving. I'm going to get the bone moving again. It's going to take me three times a week for eight weeks to stabilize it, and then we'll reevaluate. And then what I'll do is I'll probably see him once a week for eight weeks, and then every two weeks from that point on. I don't release patients. Is anyone here ever never want to get an adjustment again? Okay. No, you, you, everybody here gets adjusted regularly, yes, I hope, or tries to. So, and I ask this to chiropractors, I've had chiropractors argue me that you should release them. Once they start feeling better, you should release them, really? So just because you feel good, do you get adjusted? Well, I do. Oh, so you're more important than your patients, see? So start thinking differently, start thinking differently. So, re, so is that, what I'm telling you makes sense? I hope I'm not being, talking too fast, because there's a whole lot of stuff I want to show you guys, but I want you to get my concepts. It's easy, it's, it's easy. Find the damn bone that's, that's locked up, that's not moving, and get it to start moving. Do we treat pain? Everyone say no real loud. No. You are not a pain-based. Chiropractic is not pain-based. Never, ever, ever ask your patient, Miguel, how are you feeling? I don't care. <laughs> because that's not our issue. Really? I mean, do we, do we really care... As humans, and, and, and I love everybody. I, my patients, I love my patients dearly. My, my, I, I hug and love, and I'm, I'm an affectionate person. I love my people. I do. But, and I care, but in my office, your symptom is irrelevant to me. The symptom brought you to my office. My job is to correct that, jo that bone motion, right? So how you're feeling, I don't care how you feel. That's not, my, that's not my job. If I was giving you drugs to make you feel good, so then I could say, Miguel, how's the drugs making you feel, opposed to really what's going on. So when a patient comes in my office, I will say, let me see how you're doing, not how are you doing. Does that make sense? Okay, so I need a doctor and I need a patient. Don't everybody jump up at the same time. You be what? Doctor. I got a doctor. I need a patient. Come on, don't be scared. Lay flat on your back. Okay. All right. Can everybody see? I, I am never surprised. I mean, I have chiropractors that don't actually adjust. They don't believe in it. Are we talking diversified adjustment? Yeah, or any adjustment. Yeah. What, what technique do you use? I use uh, an orthostim. An orthostim? Okay. Um, I'll talk about that later. But diversified, they do diversified setup with it, but mm. they use the orthostim to actually adjust. To actually adjust. Okay. We'll, we'll fix that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just giving you a hard time. So, okay. So, you got C2 on the left. Yeah. Okay. On, on the right, okay, C2 on the right. So what I want you to do is, um, on, on your, I, want you, I want your setup, but I want you, what I want you to do is I want you to make sure in your mind that you're only gonna move the second cervical on the right, your left hand doesn't move anything, and I want it just fast and, and, and appropriate, so go ahead. Okay, the way you adjust it. I want, I want, I want to see, you, you adjust it the way you do, and I wanna see your setup. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm glad you did that way. And, and again, I hope, I hope you guys um, understand. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to critique you, and I don't want don't be offended, because I, I have a real, I don't mean to, I love everybody, but I'm, I'm just straightforward and honest about stuff. Okay, so did, did everybody here see two things, the first two, three things that, that um, right there that I probably wouldn't have done? Hmm? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of rotation. You use your left hand to rotate, okay? Um, that was the first thing. The second thing is you use the whole side of your finger. So you, you, there's, no way, there's no way the second circle you're going to move everything. And the other thing is the most common 
a mistake, I, and I, I call it a mistake, and I'm calling it a mistake is that all chiropractors do is, and, and, and I don't want you to see this, come over here, is you adjust it from right here. Yeah. Okay? They, you you got to get around. So, so um, second cervical, let me see. Okay, now, see, it's really, it's, now, how did that feel to you when he did that? <laughs> Do, wasn't wasn't comfortable. Did it, did it move? I didn't think it did either. Okay, and that's okay. You know, here this is why we're here, you guys. And don't, and, and, and again, we're we're dropping egos. We don't give a damn. We're all in this together. You know what? We we are brothers and sisters in chiropractic. I don't give a damn if I'm in Oklahoma and you guys are over here. Which I love this area. Yo, thank you for having me over here. Um, but um, we, we are in this together. We have enough people against us. You know, I've said this before, chiropractic is the only profession that circles the wagons and fires inward. Man, we, we, we it, 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 you know it's true. Um, I actually had, when Tim and I had um, dinner with the president of your, um, what's it called? Um, yeah, yeah, the president of everything. Wonderful guy, doesn't know anything about chiropractic. Uh, he does now. Because <laughs> 2.30 in the morning drinking scotch with him, he knows all about it. Okay, so. So, yeah, so come over here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this again. So let's deconstruct. So what you did is 99.9% .9 of what everybody does. Everybody here looked at that and went, well, yeah, that's what I'd have done, right? <laughs> For the most part. And again, no, no egos and no any of that. We're going to do this. So let's, we're going we're to do it all over again. Okay, we're going to do it all over again. So what you're going to do is, and you're going to get, and these tables are too low, but you're going to get over here. Okay, we're going we're gonna to turn the head slowly. Okay, take your time. Because see, now he's guarding. And then he's really guarding. Okay, so we're going to come up here with your fingertips, and we're going to find the lateral process of C2. Picture, picture the picture, picture um, the second cervical. You guys picture it in your head. Get that. If, use your damn phones. Get a picture of it. If you need to. Come underneath and see where I'm at. Okay, I'm not standing up there. I'm way over here. This hand's not going to do anything, and my adjustment is going to be right through there, right through there. Okay, and when you adjust, you're going to come up and through. This hand will not move. This hand is going to explode. Okay, so and every and here's the thing. Here's what I want you to do: relax, sit up on it, get where you want, and set it. Okay, all one fluid motion. Let's try it one more time. Okay, you guys have questions? Anybody has questions before he does this? Before we get started? Okay. It, it kind of, you know what, it's a good question. A lot of times it's my third one, but it depends on the anatomy of the patient. If it's a tiny patient, it's a little bitty girl, then I'll use my first one. Do you use your thumb to support the? Mm -hmm. the yeah. Okay, spread your feet and get lower. There you go. Now come, you know, you're gonna come right up through here. That's your line of drive. Okay, that's okay. That, come over here, you're gonna see this, okay? All right, so, two things. Yeah, um, like Tim was talking about, and this is where this is where everybody's going to have trouble with this. You got to get all the range of motion out. Oh, <coughs> yeah, this. You, you, you're go, we got to get we got to get all the end play out and the joint play. And, 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 and it's hard. It, it it's kind of hard to do because especially when you're in. A, here's the deal: you're in a learning environment. You got everybody watching. You're trying to remember everything. Is anyone here play golf at all? Okay, when you go out and play golf and you're trying to remember, okay, do this, do this, do this, do this, and then I end up hitting the ground. Like, uh, it's, it's, the same, it's the same thing. So, so I'm gonna, since, since he's starting to get um, real um, agitated over here, I'm going to go ahead and adjust it now. Some of you, I may adjust some of you, and it's not going to move very good um, because you've probably needed that joint adjusted for a long period of time. That's why this one, two, or three, and I don't know what your guys' philosophies are in practice. I'm just going to tell you, man, think about it. I have so many chiropractors arguing that they only see their patients two or three times and they release them because, because that's all I need to do. Man, the body doesn't heal that way. It's like wearing a cast for uh, three days. It's, the fracture is not going to heal. So you may, have to, you may have a patient that's really, really restricted and has a lot of, and you may have to work on that two or three or four visits in a row before you actually start getting the bone to move. You know, and I'd explain that to them. <laughs> You know, you've had this 15 years. Don't come in here thinking, I'm, gonna, I'm not God, I'm going to fix you today. You know, let, tell your patients the truth. But I have a feeling if we get underneath here, okay, gentle fingertips. Okay, so we got a little bit of motion. Now, here's, here's I just felt this, and I'm glad you're here. <laughs> okay, 
<coughs> and I'll go ahead and do this since we're here. The, probably the hardest adjustment in the entire body is the occiput. It is, and most people don't even attempt it. The most important adjustment in the whole body at times is the occiput. Because that occiput, if it drops down, what happens is it causes a lot of stress on the atlas, so there's no rotation, no movement in C2. So that's what you were feeling. I didn't feel it until I went to adjust this, and I felt in my, in my fingers in my left hand, I, I felt the, the occipital fibers, they just kind of jump. I can't teach you guys that. That's just something you got to pay attention to. You'll, you'll learn with your fingers as that, goes, as, that, as that goes. Your hands, whether it's a pisiform or your fingertips, you need to almost be blind. Think about what a blind person can feel with their fingers. They, they see the world through their fingers. You need to see the entire world of this patient through your fingers. That's why don't talk and quit thinking. Um, just quit thinking when you're with a patient. Stop, st stop the education. Stop thinking about all the stuff that you think you should know. Just forget it and allow that patient to tell you what's going on. And if you'll do that, you'll be amazed what you'll find and then the other problem you'll have is then you want to second guess it you'll feel it and you're gonna go there it is and you're going well maybe it, well maybe it wasn't it it was just go with it so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna adjust this ox but so the worst not getting better you come over here and set that occiput and things that he may have bladder problems that he didn't even tell you about they start clearing up and all of a sudden you're you know you're a miracle worker okay does that make sense okay all the way up okay I need another doctor another patient no, no. Yes. Yeah, on the occiput, the occiput is straight, straight um, inferior to superior. A little bit, a little bit of, the only reason I rotated it all is so I can get the fulcrum, get the head over my fingertip. So take the joint plate out and then, and straight through. Yeah, it was, it was actually, it was actually going straight. Stri yeah, it's, it's hard. Again, I, and I want you guys to understand something too. This isn't, this isn't like my, my circus trick. I mean, this is, this is how I practice. I mean, this is what I do. You're, you're in, what, I, what I always learned, if, if someone adjusted me and I felt it, and then I watched them do it, I put those two things together, man, I learned so much more. I, I, I learned how to do that. Um, I, when I was in chiropractic school, I would have my teachers come and get me out of class to adjust them because they couldn't adjust each other worth a damn. It was just awful. <laughs> of course, my classmates, I, I never heard the end of it. I was, you know, brown noser and all that stuff. I don't care, I got free lunches out of it, so whatever. <laughs> okay, I need a um, patient doctor. Girls, doctor, I need, we need girls in here. I'm not gonna let you all get out of this. I'll be your patient, thank you. Okay. <laughs> On your back. I have a very, very soft place in my heart for my lady chiropractors. Um, one, I work with me, and my daughter is gonna be a chiropractor, and I work with her extensively. You know, and so it, it, the, the lack of confidence um, in some of the lady chiropractors that I work with breaks my heart because I will tell you, um, I've got it's just, and I use her as an example all the time. I'm, I think I'm going to put her in my pocket and start bringing her with me. Um, her name's Devin Verona, and she is um, a chiropractor in Wichita, Kansas. She's about four foot eleven, about ninety-five pounds. She sees four hundred patients every three days, and this little, little tiny bundle of energy can take the biggest guy in here and move your atlas and stick it in that wall. I mean, and her hands are like half the size of mine. So if she can do it, anybody can do it. So let's get this confidence. So you find it and you show me how you're gonna fix it. Okay, stop. <laughs> Stand up. Okay, I'm glad you did that. No, and I'm picking on you, okay? But I'm not picking on you. No, no. Um, I, let, me, let, me ask you, let me ask you a question. This, opposed to this, which one would you rather have? Second. Okay, so would your patients. Okay, and, and I don't mean, mean to be mean to you. You guys, we want to build a practice, right? We want your patients to come back. We want them to go tell everybody they know about you. If you come in here and start doing this, and their neck hurts, you, you, they're going to tell everybody about you. <laughs> it ain't going to be anything good. So what I want you to do, sweetie, is I want you to, I want you to come in real gently, and I want you just to lift the head start at the base of the skull and I want you just to very gently come through here um, and I want you guys to think about this as I'm talking to her so I want you to do this oh my word feel that yeah see yeah. Yeah. we got work to do with you okay feel this yes okay now see the difference yeah okay so let's try it again now on your back 
you guys, you don't have to dig. Just listen to your fingers. So when I found this, man, that wasn't hard, was it at all? No. It won't be hard on her either, okay? So just take your time and listen to your fingers. Okay. See how easy that is? And how much nicer was that, okay? So we're always taking care of our patients. Your patients, your patients are precious, precious. Come on, I mean, they're, they're precious to you. They're, they're, they're made of, of, of fine china. You have to take care of them. So what'd you find? Um, C2 on the right. Put it where it belongs. Do you want me to do it how I would normally you, Yes, I do. <coughs> God bless you. That was awesome. Okay, <laughs> everything about that for me was perfect. And the, and the, reason, the reason it was is because you were not afraid to adjust it. That was, that was great. Did you guys see what I, the, only, the only thing that, and I hate to correct it. I don't want to correct it because it felt good, didn't it? was no pain there. The only thing that, that kind of bothers me a little bit for me, and it's, I'm very opinionated, you guys. I'm just going to put it out there. I have my opinion, and I'm right and you're wrong. So that's the way it is. Um, so the only thing is when you use your thumb, it's hard to be real specific because you're going to get everything to move. Okay, so you're going to get more manipulation. And there was a lot of head rotation with it, okay? And so that's when you're going to get into, she was easy to adjust, but how long have you been in practice? Four years. Four years. Have you had a patient when you did that was, that was really stiff and sore? It was hard to adjust it. It kind of, they, they kind of guarded and hurt them. Yeah. yeah. And that's because that rotation, if they've got any kind of uh, arthrosis or any kind of uh, arthritis or any kind of restriction in there, when you go rotating it like that, it's going to hurt those other joints. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Opposed to when you come through, come over here, sweeter. So, and you did, gosh, your, 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 your intent and your line of drive and your motion was beautiful. That was perfect. But let's say instead of doing this, mm -hmm. you did that, and only that moved and nothing else did. And, you're, you're being, and, and I will tell you, four years, put 20 on that thumb. Yeah. Your thumbs get sore, don't they? Yeah, already for yeah. four years. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, I will promise you, you're going to start wearing that thumb joint out. Mm -hmm. But see, I support here, and I'm getting you know support here, mm -hmm. so I'm supporting my wrists and, and my fingers are supported, and I'm going to come underneath, and then I'm going to set. But that was that was beautiful. I was really impressed with that. And, and, and the impression is, it's your intent. Mm -hmm. You're just going to see to it that damn bone move. Yeah. But let's get <laughs> let's start working all the way, sweetheart. So this is what this is what we're here for, you guys. We're working on. We're working on being more specific on our adjusting. Fine tune what we do. You guys are all chiropractors. You're all successful. I understand that some of the most successful chiropractors in this area are in this room, which God bless you. I'm glad you're here. Let's take what you already know and let's fine tune it. Like let's fine tune our instruments just a little bit more because I'll promise you if you start if you start thinking about it and you start doing that. See, you can take you can take a, a, a six week old baby. I can take a six week old baby and lay him here and adjust their atlas and it'll go like that and you'll never see their head move. Opposed to, yeah. you would never do that, would you? Yeah. That's why people say, well, get an activator. Mm -hmm. You know, damned activator. Fingers. <laughs> also, all you have to do, okay? But very good, very, very good. Okay, doctor, patient. Doctor, need a patient? Now you can get even with her, see? <laughs> Hold your glasses, sweetheart. <clears throat> I want, I, want you, I want you to do C5 on the right. Okay, I want to get you guys as way so you can see. <coughs> okay. Everybody, what do you do? Not, I'm not picking on you, but... Huh? There was rotation. It was, that was manipulation. You, you probably got C5 to move, but you got everything else to move, too. You know? This is why we're here. This is why we're here. Most of the time, you can build a practice that way. You can, um, because people are going to come in because they got a stiff neck and it feels better to get their neck cracked, right? They're coming in to get that neck cracking. Damn it, we don't crack necks. We specifically adjust misaligned vertebras. We, we are going to restore proper motion back into an injured joint, right? We're not rotating. So you, you're, you're doing exactly what 
exactly what everybody does. And, and I let you do it. I almost stopped you, and I just let you do it because I want everybody to see it. So you guys are starting to, so you can start like um, visualizing for yourselves. Okay, what is it I do? All right. So opposed to what you did, you know, where where you you know you got the whole head and you and you and you ripped the whole thing. You're going to come underneath and set just that bone. Okay. And you're way over here instead of up here. Okay. It adjust, here's the thing, it moved fine and you didn't hurt her. Here, go ahead and sit up. Have you guys heard of miracles in chiropractic offices? You guys hear the miracles? Like, I mean, crazy, crazy things. Um, I had a patient who was, uh, vocal cords were paralyzed for three, uh, three months. They were going to do surgery, they were going to cut his throat and, and sew a flap onto his, onto his vocal cord because he could, there was no noise. He's an uh, air traffic controller, so he was losing his job, losing his pension, losing his retirement. He was losing everything. Neuros and orthopedic and all the, all the tests, everybody, every specialist, and that's what they come at, well, your vocal cords are, are paralyzed. Who here knows what, what nerve innervates see, uh, the vocal cords? Okay, where's it come from? Hmm? C5, axillary, branch of the axillary nerve, yep. So when I come into the consultation, um, he went to speak, and I just went, you can't talk anyway, don't, don't even try. <laughs> I looked down at his symptoms, I read his report, and I said, Stefan, you're in the right place. I said, we're going to take a picture, I'll be right back. Come in, I took a picture, and guess what I found? C C5. Third adjustment, he's speaking just like you guys. Just, he, I mean, he's crying, he wants me on Oprah, you know. <laughs> so, the two, two, thing, two things about that, two things about that, one, um, did I completely, since he got his voice back, did I quit adjusting? No, because what, what was my job? It was to correct what? Like you don't do it through, just because the symptoms went away doesn't mean his, it was corrected, right? Yeah. The other thing is, um, I did manipulate his neck. I said that it was, it was a fifth cervical on the left. I mean, I can picture it, I can picture it in my mind. Had I, had I manipulated his neck, maybe his voice come back, but the odds are it probably didn't. It probably wouldn't have. But I believe, and, and that's just one little thing, the miracles that you hear if you really talk to miracles of, of chiropractic, like I guarantee you, it, it, um, Harvey Lillard's hearing would not have come back had, had, had you know, DD used, you know, activator. I promise you. I don't even know what anybody says. Or if, if DD gave him a banana instead of adjusting him, here, you need better nutrition. Or, or any of that crazy stuff. No, it was, he said, to, you know, he would say it was the most specific, perfect adjustments to this day ever given. What did BJ say? I mean, BJ, did you ever watch BJ adjust? You know, videos, I just love them. I let me make an adjustment, everybody's legs go up and all this stuff. <laughs> but he, he was, it was specific. And, and in the old days, um, and even when my uncle was a chiropractor, that's why I went, and, and even in the 60s when he graduated, if you, couldn't, if you couldn't adjust specifically, you didn't graduate. And I mean, they had some hardcore, like, you know, like the old Catholic, you know, school um, nuns, you know, with rulers standing over you. If you, couldn't, if you couldn't specifically adjust and your hands weren't fast and that bone didn't move, you did it all again. We're, that's why we call this the, 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 the you know the fading art because it's we're losing that, that that intention that care you know so from so with the rest of you guys when we're doing this I want you to I, I know I know how, how you've been doing it so let's let's try it my way to, from this point on okay and I use you guys kind of as guinea pigs to pick on you a little bit so we need a doctor patient okay yeah of course you can be the doctor this is your guys' class. Good, I was hoping you'd get some guy. Now, I want to rip his head off. <laughs> Put it where it belongs. Now, let's, let's, let's do like I showed try, try to do as much as like I showed you. Okay, stop right there. Okay, perfect. I'm glad you did this. So we're gonna we're gonna start all over again. Okay, let's head back. Okay, now stand up for me. Relax. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now look. Um, here's something I'm watching you guys do, and, and and I apologize. Again, when I when you do something so much for so long, there's things that you do that you don't know that you do. So I'm having to break it down. So when you go to when you go to set up, don't don't do this right off the bat. So you found you found it. So turn it here. Mm -hmm. There's C2 right there, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have you just bring your fingers underneath of it. Just come like that, okay? Very gentle. Just come in here, okay? So as we turn, turn the head, 
then come up underneath of it. See, okay. so, so what's happening, you guys, you're, 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 you're palpating, you find it, you turn the head and you come up underneath of it, and as you come up, find the bone with your fingertips, there's the bone I want to adjust, and then as you do that, then you're going to support your fingers. Now, you are standing right here, okay? I want you here. I want you way down here. I want the head just like that. I want the fingertips here, right there, and when you adjust, it's straight up through there, okay? This hand doesn't move. It's bam, okay? This is all awkward, completely different for you guys, so don't <laughs> take your time. Spread your feet and bend your knees. Way down there. That a girl. Now get lower. Now set that bone. That was beautiful. It was beautiful. Um, you're, still, you're still wanting to do this a little bit. Yeah. And that's habit. How long have you been in practice? Uh, seven and a half years. Seven and a half years. So, you, so you've been in practice long enough to develop habits. Yeah. And so you're, you're used to, I guarantee you, 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 be honest, in your practice, it's that? Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. Okay, so look at your arm. Look what you're going to end up hurting. Yeah. yeah, you're going to end up hurting yourself. So opposed to get down here and see, look, look where my elbow is. See, this arm is in. Look where my elbow is here. I'm, I'm not out here. Okay, and when we get into the lumbars, that's going to really come in big. I'm going to show you guys a whole different, I'm, gonna, I'm messing your whole world up today. Really. So we're going to come under here. Wow. See? Now, here, <laughs> here's, you, know, you, you did everything, you did everything perfect on that. And, and this is what, and a lot of my students do this. Um, you forgot to take the bone with you. <laughs> so you, 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 you were focused on everything, your hand speed, your motion, your line of drive, but when you went to adjust it, you, 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 didn't, you didn't take the bone with you. You got to take the bone with you on that, on that ride, okay? But everything else was beautiful. But did you feel the difference yeah. in, inside, kind of felt that? Yeah. That's what you work on, okay? All right, you two switch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before you do that though, questions from anybody? Is it, does, is any of this making sense? Like what we're doing? Okay. Are you having fun yet? Yes. Uh, I'm seeing smiles. I hope so. Uh, yes. Flick off it like that. Okay. So yeah, it's not necessarily a flick off of it. It's here's the deal. So let's say here's the bone, right? Okay. So I'm gonna. So if this is her left atlas, let's say uh, left axis. So I'm gonna palpate. I'm gonna come underneath of it. I'm gonna turn in the head. So you know I got the head here. I'm gonna come underneath like this, right? Can you all see that? So I'm, see how I'm supporting my fingers? I'm right in here. It's real. It's right the the the, the 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 tip of it is all we're moving. Okay, we just want to we just want to move that. See, it's locked, and we want to move it. So I'm gonna come underneath, support it in the right side, and I'm here. So when I adjust, I'm adjusting, so it's moving. But if I left my fingers there, I do that right. Opposed to that. So um, I, um, it's, it, 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 it's coming off just simply because if I left it there, I'm jamming it. I don't want to hurt it. I want to do that. Does that make sense? Now, in all honesty, you guys, and, 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 and like a lot of my patients, like, I'll give you a different patient. I'm going to show you something. So if I come up under here, and she's got a, it's not bad, it's a little atlas on the left. I don't have to, you know, I'm showing you guys, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of showing you this thing so you have something to work on. But in all honesty, if I want to, it's just not that hard. You know? I know, you guys are going to kill me for it. So with, yeah, so she's got a fifth cervical on the right. So go ahead and adjust that. My way. My way. <laughs> okay, start all over. Start all over. And here's why. You guys, I want you to. It, it, this is why I think this is good to do because you all, everybody's kind of doing the same thing. Relax. This is the Queen of England. Okay, <laughs> think about this. If, if this was the Queen, how would, you, how would you set up on her? Yeah. <laughs> very, very gently, wouldn't you? So your left hand is going, and I even will do this. Watch me show you something. I will do this with my girls. On them. It, this, this is your baby. I mean, this, we're dealing with someone's life, you know. And if this was, if this was uh, the queen or, or um, Kate, <laughs> I mean, think about it. How would you? I mean, 
let's all be honest. Kate walks in your office and lays on your table. What, how are you guys doing? Oh, shit. <laughs> and you're going to go. <laughs> so every patient should get the same royal treatment, should they not? Yeah. They should. And so let's, let's, let's take care of this young lady. Let's, let's take care of her. And let's come up under here and, and adjust her with, with, with love. Okay? <laughs> hey, I love it. Keep going. Keep your body needs to go way over, way over. There it is. Now get low, and and let your body relax. Let your body relax, and breathe through it. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was fine, but what'd you do with your left hand? Yeah. Do you guys see it? Yeah. Yeah. And give you guys, so I want you all to give yourself a little bit of a break. You're standing in front of a big crowd of people. You, some of you probably know each other. Some of you probably don't. I don't know. But that's hard. I mean, it's, I, I yeah. And, that, and that's just it. So you, it's, this is a whole different ballgame. What happens is we're using, we're so used to, you know, we're so used to using a hammer instead of a, a instead of the, a, a, a pin. You know, you got you got to get more specific. And so it's going to force you to be, to think more and, and to feel more. And so what you did was you did everything right. And you got to get under here low, but this hand here doesn't do anything. It's it's here. It's there, right there. Okay. Okay. That's that's where we adjust. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. All the way up. Um, doctor, patient. Let's go. What time is it? Anybody got the time? It's right there. Oh. Oh, we got lots of stuff. Oh, sweet. We're doing great. C3 and a right, okay. Set up like I would do it. <laughs> Gotta have the pad. How nice was that? And here's what's cool about that, stay there. Here's what's cool about that. You focus so much, your attention was so much that when your hand moved, it came off and even this hand slipped. But it's because of the speed. But how easy did that bone move? It just right in, and it was only C5. I could hear it, okay? And it was very specific. The only thing I want you to work on, as tall as you are, you were over here, and you were doing this. You guys, get in here. Get in, and then let that move, okay? But that was awesome. Is that different than the way you adjust it? Yeah. You like it better? Yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll let you. You're the doctor. I need a patient. See, I'm going to start calling out the girls that hide in the back. I've done this too many times. On your, on your back. Hold your, hold your glasses. C2 on the right. Put it where it belongs. Okay. No, no, you're okay. This, you're exactly why I called you over here. Okay. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. <laughs> you're awesome. How long have you been in practice? Three years. Three years. Okay. That's, that's, you're, you're, that's awesome. So you, when you set up, mm -hmm. you used your whole hand, mm -hmm. right? All here. Okay. So we're going to get, we're going to get here. We're going to get, we're going to get gentle and tiny. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and you're, you're still wanting to kind of jam the bone. Let's move the bone, okay? So we're going to do more relaxed. So we're going C2 on the right. Yeah, you're, you didn't miss that at all. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. What's your name? Magda. Magda. Seriously, what is it? Magda. 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 I say, is I say it right, Magda? Magda. Okay. All right, come over here. I want to show you. So, okay, we're going to here. Okay. C2 is right there, right? We're going to take our fingertips. See, you, can, you did this, right? Mm -hmm. See, when, look, how much, look how much of the spine I'm covering. Okay? We only want that. So we're here, right there. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you're fine, Magda. We're going to come here. Now, see, this is very important for you guys, too. This is something that I'm glad this happened. She is already guarding and tensing. You guys have patients that do that all the time, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's like, okay, shit. <laughs> um, and when you, and when no, no, it's it's normal. You can't help that. It. It's physiological. 
So when you have that, relax. I got you. Okay. <laughs> so then we're going to take our time. See now, look how much, look how supple that is. See how easy. See, I'm going to come over here, and when I get here, it's my fingertips. Right there's the bone. See, I'm adjusting up. See here, her ear, mm -hmm. that bone. So I'm adjusting right here, right through there. Mm -hmm. So your fingers. No, you relax. Fingers. Just like it. Okay? There. Okay? But you got to get it to tension. Mm -hmm. So you feel that? Mm -hmm. So you can't move any further. You don't have to you don't have to crank the head. It's just gonna be right there. Okay? And then when you get it there. Okay? Alright, Mike, you can do this. Yay! That was awesome.